it. Women's World Cup existed for the winner of this tie, Cameroon and Nigeria. The man who oversees Cameroon. But what a run from Okobi here. Mono Mono. Nigeria have opened the scoring. It was coming. And champions find a way. Nigeria are proving their pedigree with the goal early on in this second half. Ajibane. Third goal of the tournament. Our joint leading goal scorer. Final whistle. After an intense match against the indomitable lionesses of Cameroon, the Super Falcons of Nigeria have secured a ticket to the Women's World Cup in 2023. Now, the question on everyone's mind is, can they still clinch a 10th WAFCON title? My name is Osarame in Negbenevo, and welcome to the Super Falcons show, proudly brought to you by MTN. Now, as you know, on the show, we give you the very best of BTS from the women's camp in Morocco, as well as interesting and fun interviews. And on today's show, it is no different. But just before we unload interviews and birthday surprises, we go on a quick break and we will be right back. If I buy this bully, I drink him be my portion. We do. People are saying they happen for them. After all, all of us now visit dogs. Oh boy, now me the one place with several times a wolf. Ah, bros don't get five times a wolf. And this is a girl collects this times a wolf. This one now, wolf everywhere you go. Whether you be new or old MTN customer, sort of a wolf with the boss spray everywhere you go. Ah, Bobby, me gonna show. You are still locked into the Super Falcons show. Now remember, for the very best of updates from the Falcons camp, follow us across all social media platforms. Facebook and YouTube is at MTN Nigeria. Instagram and Twitter is at MTNNG. And of course, our very own is the Super Falcons show. Now, I am a big lover of surprises. Be it birthdays, bridal showers, baby showers, you can hit me up. And of course, I will turn up. Now, the Super Falcons did hit me up for their surprise party for Vivian Ikechuku as she turned a year older. But of course, we have the show just for you. Here is Vivian Ikechuku and her surprise birthday from the Super Falcons. Well, my birthday is in December, just in case you were thinking of throwing me a surprise party, to send me a DM and I'll give you the exact date. Now, still in the mood of celebration, one woman who has given us a lot to celebrate as Nigerians and who has been nominated for the CAF Women's Player of the Year Awards, I am talking about none other than Rashidat Ajibade, who is a striker with Atletico Madrid and, of course, plays for the Nigerian women's national team. Now, in this tell it all interview, she talks to us about her personal life, what it feels like playing for the national team, and, of course, her fellow teammates. Let's take a look. <music> 
number and the mm -hmm. second to the last. My eldest brother plays football, but because of um, a life of football, he plays to date, he's married mm -hmm. and has three kids. So he doesn't really, he can't play, couldn't play professionally because he loves to go to school, so he mm -hmm. loves education nice. and yeah. he's very intelligent. So he's always thinking of, okay, he's a the first one of a family, a couple of the that were not, you know, from rich family, so he wants to take responsibility, so he's always playing at for leisure, not professionally. I got this when I just said to myself, get up to do something crazy. Okay, I have to start from my head. Um, yeah, I have some one of the people that was working with then, I was like, oh, this looks good on you. Yeah, we can, you know, we can make it a brand name, whatever. And then also, I was also trying to, you know, understand some things about, you know, sport management and stuff like that. We can also understand something that has to do with, you know, players branding and uh, players identity and all of that. Like, you have to stand out, you have to stand out with the crowd and, uh, you know, Stuff like that, yeah. you know, create and I did. So from there, I was where all of this things started, trade an ID, and I will build up from there. But what a run from Okobi here. For the Mono. Ajibane! Nigeria have opened the score out! Happened because, because it's very tight, and a couple of the fact that that girl was in front of me, but the only thing that just happened was I kept going not towards the goal direction, and if you watch the goal very well, hit the bar and lead into the net. So I was just because, like I said, I act like. Well, yeah, because the only thing I just saw was <laughs> I just saw the net doing it everywhere. I just said, ah, God, you have done it too. <laughs> Let's go to the corner flag and show your name again. <laughs> so there wasn't, so it was just my impression because also, you know, a couple of times I was, but what, what I say, um, uh, Kobe did a great job, you know, he was forced to, you know, to play in the handful, knowing he was that there was nobody to, to pass through and all of that. And, you know, the way to, for you to do that like everything was just fine. You know we've been doing some kind of pull out. We've done so many pull outs and at the end of it, even the corner team couldn't connect with everything. If you see the weight on the path from a Kobe to um with B, you can see the journey who is it, but she doesn't have to take two touches, she wasn't, you know, she was just, you know, he's behind the she was just I mean, I didn't do so much strength. You can see the force on the board that it wasn't like so much. So I got involved in some things, you know. My own is just for me to be like that right there. I'm just to the ball in the net. So, so. Well, Rashida Ajibade, of course, will definitely be banging in goals for the national team whenever she's called upon. Now, that's the much we can take on today's episode of the Super Falcon Show. Remember not to forget to follow us across all social media platforms. That's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter at MTNNG, Twitter, Instagram, MTN Nigeria, Facebook, and YouTube. And of course, our very own The Super Falcons Show on Instagram and Twitter. We will see you same time next week with, of course, more BTS from The Super Falcons Camp. It's bye for now. <laughs>